Alan, it's great to be talking to you. I wish it was under better circumstances. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling okay. It's it's nice to get to talk about everything after so long of having everything be secret. But obviously, it was a very emotional up and down journey. So um, excited to talk to you, John. Now, what was it like? Uh, you know, I ask this a lot of people when you know they experience everything out on the island and then they come home and then they watch it again. What was like? What was it like for you? Did was it was it did it get off your shoulders? Did you kind of experience that all again? How was it for you? Yeah, I think the biggest thing that I was nervous about going into like rewatching it is having things aligned to how I remember it. And obviously right. you're getting a lot more information. You're seeing people talk about you and what they say in their confessionals and all of that you don't get on the island. Um, but I think I was lucky enough that in the last two episodes, at least, it felt like very true to how I remember it. So that was a relief. And it's nice right. to get to talk about the game because even from my like closest friends, I haven't been able to say any of this stuff. <laughs> Now, why do you think, you know, uh, just based on what you saw out there, why do you think the target switched from Carolyn to you? Because, I mean, you weren't really, you weren't really considered a threat or anything up until that episode. Yeah, <laughs> great question. I got to ask Carson that. But uh, I think for for me, like, I my, my understanding and my perception at the time was that Carolyn didn't want to work with me. I didn't get the sense that she was ever really trying to work with me. So that made me wary and made me feel like I needed to get her out. Cause if you have someone that doesn't want to work with you in the game, that's not anything, you know, that's going to help you move forward. Right. So I mean, vice versa, right? Like for her, if she thought that I wasn't going to work for with her or for her, then it makes sense to get rid of me. So I think there's a lot of reasons. Um, I know that Carson definitely thought I had the idol and was like very, very convinced uh -huh. that, I, that I had the idol. So I get it. Like if you think that someone has the idol, you want to get that out of the game, get that power out. Um, so I think that also played into it. But uh, you also hear Jam say like, I think I just didn't do a great job of managing my the perception of, you know, how strategic I was or anything like that. And I think that probably played a part as well. Now, you mentioned the idol because, again, like, you know, here you are in a smaller tribe, a tribe. You're divided into three tribes. So that's already creates a, a, that scenario. And now you have the idol into the mix of it, which, again, can, you know, uh, boost somebody's threat level. What was the perception based on what you knew going on the tribe of they knew somebody somebody had an idol? Who did people think have it and why? I mean, <laughs> you see it kind of in the show, too. Like, I don't think any of us had a consensus understanding of who had the idol. <laughs> if anything, I think the consensus understanding was that I had the idol and I wasn't aware of that, obviously, because right. I know that Carson really, really um, was confident in that. So for myself, at least from my perspective, I knew I didn't have it. I didn't think that Carolyn had it because um, she, like my perception, which was incorrect, was that I would probably be able to be tipped off somehow if she had right. it because she was just so unfiltered, so genuine, so like, authentic 100% of the time that I thought that something would like give a hint that she had it and she was also even after um having seen it tingled uh, tinkered with I feel like she did a good job of playing it up as like oh I still need to find this key where is this key what's going on so um in my eyes I thought maybe it was like Carson Sarah or Jam uh maybe it was Jam is probably my highest suspicion but um yeah. obviously that was incorrect <laughs> <laughs> now why you know why wasn't while well, I'm watching the episode, I'm like, why isn't Sarah an option in any of this? What was what was your thoughts about what was going on with her? Like, why didn't people why was it you and not necessarily her? It doesn't seem like she was factored into anything. You know, John, I have that same question. <laughs> um, I, think <laughs> she, I mean, she, we knew she went to Shipwheel Island. Maybe she got an advantage there. Um, I think it was relatively common knowledge at that point. She didn't have a vote. Right. So. Whether it was me or her, I don't know what the decision-making factor necessarily was. Um, I think a couple of things, one is just this like damn idol that I supposedly had, which was <laughs> not not the truth. And then two is maybe like Jam and Carolyn thought that in the longer term, like they could have Sarah work with them much easier than they could have me work with them. I think Jam kind of alluded to that when you hear him say like, oh, once Sarah doesn't have Helen, she'll be tied to us. So. Right. Maybe that's something that went into it as well. Um, but, you know, all good questions. <laughs> <laughs> now, you get, again, you guys start out the game with three separate tribes, obviously smaller numbers, not many places to hide in, in, a, in a scenario like that. 
How did your strategy change once you realized that you were in a smaller tribe with fewer people? Yeah, it's it, it's really tough. I mean, in a tribe of six, there's nowhere to hide. By the end of day one, we were a tribe of five, and there sure. is really, really nowhere to hide. And I think um, my strategy what going into the game was to really try to, like, go with the flow, not ruffle too many feathers, not throw people's names out or take any leadership positions or put myself in that, like, exposed position of this person's right. playing really hard or they're strategizing too much. Um, I think I probably did that poorer than I <laughs> initially envisioned <laughs> because a lot of things happen and you lose Bruce and now you're this tribe of five. And I think my mind shift kind of um, changed to like, how do I best position this tribe to succeed so that we make it into the merge with enough people to like make a headway at that point. Um, and for me, like in certain scenarios, like you see the sa savvy challenge, I was like, okay, maybe yeah. I am in this situation, the best person to step yeah. up and like get our tribe of success. And I think that was something that probably wasn't the smartest idea looking back on it and uh, probably could have used a little bit more tampering down. Yeah, I didn't see that from what we saw. I didn't see that as too much of a problem. It's just that um, the overall perception of, of the tribe seemed to be where things were at. Now, looking back at, again, what you now know and, and what you knew out there, how would you have done things differently? What would you what do you think you could have done um, so that you weren't targeted or, you know, that the game played out a little bit differently for yourself? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, something I've been thinking about for nine months. <laughs> I yeah. think uh, at the beginning of the game, um, I gravitated toward like Carson and Sarah as my alliance. And right. I, when I, when I like have that alliance, I think I tend to be a pretty loyal person and work for that alliance. Right. right. Um, and it, because of that, I think I probably, to the detriment of my own game, didn't spend as much time with Jam Jam or like with Carolyn right, and making right. inroads with them and making them feel like they could really trust me. Right. So I think that's the biggest factor is I really just should have spent more time making them feel like um, I was someone that they could use as well. Now, you know, again, we're, we're watching the episodes and we see how Carolyn's portrayed. And again, we only see so much of what actually happens out there. Based on your knowledge, how was the perception of, of Carolyn at the tribe? Was it, hey, this is somebody we can work with? Um, this is somebody uh, we kind of might want to shy away from. What was the general perception of her when you talk to the other other tribe mates? I think she's extremely authentic. Like she, what right. you see on TV is ex exactly what you get. <laughs> and it's it's like that there's no pause or anything like that. Right. She's not like putting on a facade. That's who she is. She's an extremely authentic person. She's um, like no one else I've ever met and probably will ever meet. I think for <laughs> myself, I was worried because it felt like she would be someone that's harder to manage and like work right. hand in hand with. She might be more of a wild card. And that right. was my perception of her from my, my point of view. But I think for others, like she actually show you, you, you see it in the scenes where she's talking to Carson and Jam Jam, where she shows yeah. like the self-awareness, the, the strategy piece that I didn't see as much. Um, so I think that she is in a really good position because she has this like very easy to underestimate exterior, but a lot yeah. of things going on under that. Now, I ask this of everybody that, that I talk to over the years, and I want to ask the same thing of you. Again, we only get to see so much on TV. A lot is a lot ends up on the cutting room floor. So based on your journey, like maybe it was a moment, a bonding, an experience, a strategy, is there anything that you wish they would have shown as part of your journey so that viewers could see that? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, I think one of my fondest memories, I think it was maybe the – first or second night where Tika just we we were just getting to know each other right. we had spent a like a lot of time the first day with Bruce and we didn't get to talk and a lot of this took up a lot of time so the second day was like the first day that we could sit down and actually like bond as a tribe and I thought that was a really special um night because it was you hear a lot about people's backstories and you meet these people that you never would have met other than right. like on Survivor and it was it was a really nice moment and I think um, if it were any time, like that is the moment that I should have just like seized on to make sure that every single person that I was on the tribe with really felt like I was indispensable to them. Um, right. but that was a really nice moment and something I look back on fondly. Now this, this might be a no brainer here, but I'll ask it anyways. Um, <laughs> if you were given the chance to come back, would you play again? And 
probably more importantly, would you play any different? What would you, what would some of your strategy be? You don't have to reveal all your cards, but what would some of your strategy be if you I can't tell my future castaways what my strategy <laughs> is. Come on, John. Um, <laughs> I would 100% go again. It felt like the way I described it is it felt like I finally got to the airport after <laughs> so much traffic and you're like finally on the plane. You're like, yes, I'm so excited for this vacation. Yeah. And then you get kicked off the plane before you even take <laughs> off. And it's such a bummer because I was, I mean, there's so yeah. much I didn't get to experience, like the individual challenges and all of that stuff I would have loved to experience. Yeah. So hundred percent, anytime you call me, I will say yes. My strategy, I'll just keep that a mystery for now. <laughs> well, it was great watching you on the show. And, and somehow, I mean, I, I we watched you in the challenges. You did really well at those. So yeah, I was, I was expecting, I wanted to see more of you. Unfortunately, we didn't, but Maybe your survivor journey isn't over just yet. So all the best of luck to you in the future. And who knows, we might be talking again sometime. I hope so soon. I hope so too. Thanks, John.